everybody, welcome to another brick vlog. I think it's 24 or 25. Ping on the screen, or should I say, mock vlog. So here's the thing, this vlog will this vlog will mostly focus on one thing, the mocks of Brick Vault. Ta-da! Two reasons. I really wanted to uh, do an update on what we have so far in the studio and in our web store that became a significant part of our channel and also because I really did not have time this week to shoot much else because I was working on some other videos and had a day off. So it was the, uh, this idea of having the web store to support our channel like independently from YouTube in some way and uh, you know bring support towards for us to continue building amazing mocks which is what we do in the main portion of the time right now. Uh, it ended up being a great outreach platform to amazing designers. We are very proud of working with several very prominent designers that are designing amazing things and their talent is just insane and we're so glad to work with you guys. I'm talking to you designers if you're watching this video, I know you are. Thank you so much for being part of this awesome uh, endeavor, I would say. And there is more to come. So in this kind of video, I want to like show so far what mocks we have been done. Maybe as uh, a history of our mocking in Lego with some older mocks that we have. And uh, we're just gonna go through it in uh, this kind of a vloggy way. All right, ready? And I kind of want to start with Jarek, or Jarek, he's Polish, so I should say his full name, Jarek Książczyk. Great designer. Funny thing is that I haven't even talked to him personally yet, even though he designed a lot of awesome mocks for our store. Here is his TIE Fighter collection, starting off with the TIE Fighter that was first introduced in several different versions, coming to the TIE Advanced, that's Vader's ship, one of those most really intricate builds around here. Here is the older version, or maybe the newer. You can see we have both versions of TIE Fighters. He was constantly redesigning them to make them look even better. And I think, I don't know which one is newer right now. I think they're like, I think they're the same actually, because they are supposed to be the Vader's guard as in the scene from the New Hope. Then we have the Bomber. When the Bomber was announced, we were really teasing you guys, and this thing was in production for quite a while. The result is amazing. That's my favorite of the, of the ties. By far, it's, it's super solid, it has super awesome structure around it, very good mock. Definitely one of my favorite ship designs from the TIE fleet and one of my favorite mocks in the studio. And also we have the TIE Interceptor. So I think those were the big guns, I would say, that ended up being in the store, being super popular among um, the supporters, the buyers that were buying these instructions. And Jarek was super happy with the outreach and also with the uh, feedback that he was getting through your comments and your, you know, um, basically you watching our videos about the, his mocks and he's really working on more thanks to that awesome support. Jarek also went with the flow and given the success of the original TIE Fighters, he made the First Order versions, the Special Forces version and the uh, uh, typical First Order TIE Fighter. They are different, don't get fooled. The First Order one has like a, a lower turret that can shoot backwards. Uh, this one, that's the one they actually thin and uh, Poe steal from the Star Destroyer in the opening scenes of uh, Force Awakens. So that's the guy with the red insignia next to it. And the classic TIE Fighter is basically an improvement over the original TIE Fighter, but in black colors and used by the First Order. It's a bit faster, I think, but still no shields, pretty easy to shoot down by the X-Wings. So Jarek is still working on some awesome stuff. There is more to come from him, so if you like his designs, I can tell you that there is something super awesome coming over, all right? Next mock. We are having also the 8080s in our web store. This one is coming from uh, Jay, Rich Boy Jay, a great designer. He made a single mock consisting of the 8080 and also the 80 ACT from Rogue One. This thing is actually right now in rubble a bit because he, it was moved from our old studio and we never got around to fixing it as we are still waiting for this room to be actually painted and you know, once it does happen, then the displays will be by the, by the walls and we can put those guys back in their full glory. So the 8080 is minifigure scale. We really like minifigure scale mocks and uh, yeah, uh, once we have the display space for it set up, this thing is gonna get back on its feet, wink, wink. 
I'm just talking about 8080s. Uh, this is the Raskolnikov's 8080. It's not one that we have in our web store. It's a plus size 8080. Really good build. There is a video on our channel from back in the days. I think it was made by me, if I remember. Really cool build. It was actually a plus size version of the set. Yeah, it's still in the box. It's actually pretty intact. We just keep it here to not lose any pieces. So good rest, boy. Hey, everyone asking us about the Tanti 4. This guy, it will happen, okay? It will happen. I promise you that, just not yet. We have so much stuff in the cooks, so uh, that like this thing, there is no time to work on that. And it will, it will happen. That Ewing right there is still in the box, uh, keeping it intact, just the wings are disassembled. Remember that one? That's from Mirko Sopelsa and I'm talking about this mock because that was one of the greatest builds of last year and a mock that really pushed us towards some big builds and minifigure scale ships. This one is actually not minifigure scale, it's bigger, but the way it was designed and the manual that came with it from Mirko, it was just amazing experience and I think that really got us so much more into the mock building processes than we initially uh, thought we would get into. This is our UCS Ghost and this was also a milestone for the channel. Right now you can see it's a bit disassembled, the guys are working still on the light uh, setup. It was pretty much completed but like, they still work on some gribbling for the panels. This was completely different design of the first time we finished it. You guys, maybe some of you remember the streams that we were doing, like two or three weeks of building this guy. It was pretty amazing. The same for the 80s, it was like two weeks of building on the 80s. But yeah, the guys are working on version 2.0 of the Ghost with lights and stuff. I don't think they have a battery in here, so I can't really show you, but you can see in the previous vlogs how it was illuminated. It's gonna be a really nice thing. There is the Phantom that we're gonna still making instructions for, but it's pretty much uh, almost, yeah, fitting and scaled well with the Ghost. You can see it fits pretty nicely. There you go, and yeah, uh, that thing's gonna get updated. And this really was a milestone because it pushed us to work even more and more and more on the mocks and more on finding awesome designers to, uh, you know, be featured in our web store. This collection here is coming from Lucas. This guy is designing all the different versions of Batmobiles. You can see them uh, being released every two weeks or so. We try to like make a really nice video for each one of them. Those are different versions. I'm not very much into the Batman lore. I think Jack is more into that. Lucas definitely is into that. Really want to um, thank this guy for having this uh, patience and really good eye for this uh, topic of different Batmobiles. I think he's uh, pretty much doing a very good job on uh, showing those guys in minifigure scale, believe it or not, because those are small enough uh, and big enough to actually scale very well with any Batman fig. Some of these can actually get him in the cockpit, some of these don't, but you know, uh, I think the looks are more significant and more important than actually having the option of getting the minifigure in. But most of them do, so that's really cool. This guy in the back is, let me just get him into the light a bit. This is the 1989 Batmobile from Dave Slater. He also made the Corvette. Let me see if she's here somewhere. There she is. That's the very same designer. It's a mock that you can also buy in our web store. The 1969 Stingray Corvette. Beautiful. I had a blast building it. Back to the Batmobile. And imagine that he came up with this after the Corvette. That was a design he was having in the cooks for like two years or something. And now seeing how uh, how you know how cool it is to show the mocks to the world he decided to finish this guy it has a bunch of functions i'm gonna link some video below for uh, a review a full review of this mock that you can also purchase uh, it has like bat missile inside some cool functions like pop-up machine guns really amazing build and one of the coolest cars we have by far in our studio then we have these guys for example uh, this is a newer history of the web store this is the thunder joe from nicola he also made the war rig that I'm gonna be showing at the end. It's just the newest mock that we had was the war rig, but the Thunder Joe from Horizon Zero Dawn was probably the most epic thing to see the result of. I did not. I saw this being built by Ramon for quite a while, and then when he like I came to the studio one day, it was fully finished, just towering above everything else on the table. Wow! I mean, this thing looks epic. It's such a big build. It requires like a stand to, uh, you know, not fall over. But you can see the stand is pretty well concealed. The thing just stays in its full glory on the shelf. Really cool thing to have uh, one of my favorite display pieces by far in the studio. And those two guys 
are from Bernhard. Those are the new speeders from that Coruscant scene when the Anakin chases the uh, bounty hunter with uh, Obi, uh, or Anakin and Obi-Wan chase the bounty hunter. Yeah, that's also one of the newest mocks in our web store. Uh, one of the smallest ones to get. So if you guys, uh, you know, think about getting a small cool Star Wars mock, that is a great choice actually. We also got the DeLorean, that is a really nice minifigure scale DeLorean. If you missed on the idea set, I think that is the best possible version of the DeLorean that you can get. Also one of the newest mocks in our web store and I remember Jack had a blast at building it and doing some tweaks to make it look even better than initial project. Here we have the snow speeders. Those are also minifigure scale, believe it or not. Many people are wrongly assuming that a snow speeder is much bigger of a craft. It's not, it's a tiny little ship. It's used uh, for maintenance and towing, so it can be big. So that's how tiny these guys were, you know, fighting all these massive AT-80s. We had two of them, the gray version and the white version. I like the gray one better. Those are really fun, flying in formation right here. And also a pretty cool small Star Wars smoke if you want to start off your collection. And this guy here is the Nabu N1 Starfighter from uh, the legendary Intkert. Rindhurt was a, mock, a Star Wars mock builder for quite a while now. I was always digging his uh, builds for so many months, I think even years or so, and now it's a great honor to have him work with us. It's technically advanced, so it's not for some, uh, you know, average builders actually. It's using some really crazy techniques to get those angles right, believe me or not. We build it and it requires a significant amount of attention and patience to get this guy rolling and not fall apart once you build it. But once you do, the shape is just insanely accurate. Ah, look at that. Just matching perfectly. And there's one more thing from Intkert, then the new one that we can finally, you know, tell it's completed. The B-Wing, that's also his design. It's probably one of the most complex ships. Okay, it's the most complex ship we have in our studio. Even compared to this guy, the B-Wing has crazy connections. And if I had to rate like difficulty level from one to five, it's a five star build. Definitely, if you buy this one, uh, prepare yourself for some real challenge. But once you finish it, oh man, oh man, this thing is just amazing. And we really want to have it on the central point of display because that's the most advanced and the most epic in terms of looks and use techniques, pretty much ship in our entire collection. And last but not least is the war rig from Mad Max. That's also coming from Nicola, the designer of the Thunder Joe I mentioned. This is pretty much the latest mock as of this recording to appear in our web store. The fully operational war rig with the entire crazy tanker in the back and this crazy uh, semi in the front with skulls and stuff. If you remember that scene, that's I think very close depiction of the war rig. Also, we have uh, a video on every single mock I'm showing today, guys. So if you have not checked them already, I'm gonna link all of these below. All these mocks are available in our web store and we are constantly, constantly working on more and not stopping there. So what else is there? What else is coming? What else are we planning? We are not stopping. You can tell by the time that we are big fans of Star Wars. So we have, um, you know, in a lot of Star Wars designs in mind and there are, there's, there are things in motion that's gonna, that will bring more Star Wars sets to our web store. We also are on the lookout for non-Star Wars uh, things, things that are just catching the eye from the ground up, just like boom, it's a great mock. We are on, constantly on the lookout for that, so if you want to work with us, if you want to have your mock in our web store, if you want to uh, pretty much support yourself by doing what you love to do, which is designing Lego, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can reach us through the web stores, uh, there's a link, web stores contact form, don't forget to include some pictures of your mocks. Uh, keep in mind that we are really uh, sorting through dozens of mocks every week and we only consider uh, the best ones to be actually part of our store. It has to be, per if it's minifigure scale, that's a massive plus. It, it doesn't really have to be, but we, our main premise is it has to be the best or one of the best vehicles, builds, designs, models uh, of that particular type of ship or whatever it is in their own category. So we try to look, if you look for a minifigure scale, a Star Wars ship, it has to be the creme de la creme, the top notch. And uh, we're constantly on the lookout for such builds. So if you think, if you think uh, that you have what it takes, 
go ahead and contact us. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This vlog was kind of like um, focused on one topic. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the normal like weekly vlog will come back probably next week and I hope you will enjoy that one as well. Thank you so much for watching. It was Mike and I'll see you next time on our Brick Vault and on our channel. Bye-bye.